Bionic Force hose. That's what we're looking at today. It's supposed to be super strong and super awesome. But first, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews For You. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. My channel specializes in asking on TV items, consumer gadgets, or other household products. So if you like that, stick around. Now, let's get to a quick unboxing of this hose. I ended up getting the 50 foot hose. It, there's one that came in at um, 25 foot. There's a 50 foot. I believe there's a 75 foot and then maybe a 125. They're all of course different prices. This 50 foot one was about $30. I bought it on Amazon. Um, as I opened the box, it just has it in this little plastic, um, I guess a little plastic bag with some directions. What I like about this Bionic Force hose, at least what I saw from the infomercial, it's supposed to be really, really, really tough, um, but also really, really lightweight. And so my goal for this is to take this and use this as my primary hose for when I go camping and throw it in the camper, because if you've ever lugged around one of those big hoses, you know it's problematic and cumbersome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of this bag and I'm going to show you a little bit about the ins and outs of this hose and then we're going to test it out outside and really see if it's as strong as they say they are. So let me quick get this undone or un unbagged, since I already unboxed it, and I'll take a look and show you the ins and outs. Let's talk about some of the specs of the Bionic Force hose. Now, I'm pretty sure the 25, 50, 75, 125 foot lengths all have the same thing. Um, so we're going to talk about the connectors. Now this is the end that would connect to your house, to the hose bib. And look at this. It's a pretty decent sized connector and I can fit my whole hand around here. There's nothing worse than trying to just screw the little top part in and you, you're hitting your knuckles against the wall or the bib or whatnot. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to see this. I also like that it spins. It doesn't spin the whole hose. This itself spins, so that's pretty nice. Um, inside here, there is a little tiny rubber gasket it's like a white color I like that too because that's going to reduce leaking from the hose um, it's the same on this end that big nice connector this is a 5 8 inch hose which is a decent size um, hose itself they, they say this outside fiber is called M I think it's called MXZ-7 now I've never heard of that before um, but they said it was like that of a fire hose, if you're a fireman for a fire truck or whatnot. Um, so I googled MXZ-7, and honestly, the first 10 pages, and I stopped looking, only referred to the Bionic Force hose. That's all it was. Um, I couldn't find anything else, but they say it's as tough as a fireman's hose. Not the same material, but as tough as. So on the, on the infomercial, they rub this up against a, a cinder block, and it doesn't rip or tear, so I'm going to check it out. Um, and if it lives up to the claim, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. If not, I'm going to call it like it is. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get outside. Oh, one last thing. They said these hold up to 250 pounds of pressure. And how they demonstrated that is they drove over the end with a car. So I'm going to try that too. Um, so you know what? Let's not waste any more time. Let's get outside and check this out. So now we're actually going to hook this up to the house. So just using your hose bib, you just start spinning this. And you see how this handle really, really works nicely? The hose itself is not spinning, just the handle. And it has that washer in there, so you know when it gets tight, it's going to hold. So let's turn the water on and see what happens. See how this hose is filling up? It's getting pretty stiff right here. Um, that's pretty nice. I think all in all, it went on really, really well. I've got no leaks here. That's always a plus. Let's do a few more tests. Okay, so here we're gonna test the durability of this MXZ-7 fiber that covers the outside of the Bionic Force hose. It says you can run it up against brick or cinder block or sharp areas and it won't um, fray. Now this hose is on, I'm just showing you that there is pressure in the line, so let's just get to it. Oop, we're gonna go back and forth. We're gonna test to see if this frays or not. All right, as I show it here to the camera, Look what you see. It's already starting to fray, and I honestly wasn't even trying that hard, um, which makes me believe over time this is going to get worn down more and more, and that's kind of frustrating because then it's going to create leaks within the hose itself. Definitely does not live up to the claim that it says on the infomercial. Now, let's see how strong the handles are and run them over with the car.
it actually did crack when I drove over it right here on the plastic part. Um, the head is really strong and, and did not bend or whatever, but I did want you to note that the plastic part did crack. Although durable, maybe the car was too much. All right, so they said you can fit the entire 50-foot hose in a bucket. So here we go. I'm going to put it in the bucket. What do you see? Yep, there it is, the entire 50 feet. I like that for portability and transportation. Today we were looking at the Bionic Force hose. And if you remember, I talked about the infomercial, and the, the hose is completely covered in this product called MXZ-7 fiber. And they claim this fiber is really, really, really strong. And you know what? You can rub it up against brick and block and all sorts of things, and it, it just won't fray. It won't rip. Well, I tried it, and I actually didn't even try that hard. I turned the hose on so there was pressure in the line, and I just rubbed it up and down, back and forth against a cinder block, and I showed it to you. It frayed really, really fast, which makes me believe... It won't take long before that just rips all together, revealing the inner hose and probably puncturing or something. Um, so that was kind of a, a thumbs down part. I didn't necessarily agree with the claim. Also, they said that those handles, although they're really nice and screwing it into the hose bit, they said it could withstand up to 200 pounds of pressure. And they claimed that that was being driven over by a car. All right, so 200 pounds of pressure. I tried it, drove over it with one tire. And the plastic thing cracked. Now, it didn't crack bad. It's still usable, and I used it afterward, um, but it's still cracked. So don't make the claims if you actually your product actually can't do it. Um, I will say it is a pretty powerful hose. The, the interior dimension of the both ends is small, so a, lo a little bit of water goes in, and it shoots out really, really fast, and I like that. I like the lightweight part. Like I said, I'm going to put this in my camper. Um, and so whenever you go camping, you're pulling a camper, weight is always an issue. You want to have less of it. And so I've been carrying one of those big, heavy-duty hoses. I'm going to throw this in there. Um, I love that it fit inside a bucket right afterward. All the water came out. It immediately shrank down. I threw 50 foot inside of a bucket. Boop, picked it up really, really easy. Um, like I said, I picked this up for $29.99 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below in the description if you wanted to get one. It's it's okay of a hose. Now, if you're not going to rub it up against brick, you're not going to drive over the car, I think you'll be pretty happy with this hose. Um, it's just like all the other ones out there. It's $30, bucks, depending on what size you get. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. You know what? You may have noticed something on my head this whole time. Well, when I was outside working with the hose, I had on my tack glasses flip up, okay? I did a review on these not too long ago, and I'm going to link it right up here. So you know what? I'll see you over at that review. It's going to be right here. See you there.